Hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how I did this card. One of the things I'm going to do though is I'm going to start with full sheets of cardstock and show you exactly how I cut all my cardstock um, and then we'll get to stamping. So to begin with, I'm going to use this, the stamp set Swirly Bird. This is just a really fun little stamp set. It makes um, sailboats and kites, flowers, has little birds, so you can make a nest, lots of different things you can do with this and then if you have one really good um, word set, you're set for to make a lot of cards. This happens to be one of my favorites. It's called Tin of Cards. It was with a kit last year. It came as part of, um, you could order a kit and then order the stamp set separately. And I am so thrilled that they kept this stamp set in because it's one of my favorites. I love the different fonts that it has and it can be used for lots of different things. So those are the stamp sets I'm using. And to begin with, I'm going to use, um, oh, a couple of ink pads that I'm going to use. I'm going to use some of our ink colors. And so I've got Peekaboo Peach, Dapper Denim, and then I'm adding in a little mint macaron into that just to, for my colors. And I'm using um, Whisper White cardstock, that's what this is. And these are 8.5 by 11. And then I've also got a sheet of the Dapper Denim cardstock, 8.5 by 11. So to begin with, I'm going to bring in my stamp and cutter. And to start with, I'm just going to do a card base. And so I'm going to cut this cardstock at in half, at 5.5. So I'll go ahead and cut it, and then if I turn it to the side and go to four and a quarter, and I take the scoring blade and just run it down there, I'm going to get a nice score line on my piece of cardstock, and then when I fold it, it, it has a nice crisp edge and it doesn't crack the cardstock. So that's that piece. There's my card base. And then to do the other card, <clears throat> I'm going to take a full sheet of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half just to kind of keep with doing what we were doing. So then you've got a half a sheet of cardstock, and I'm gonna cut it again in half, and that brings me to four and a quarter. And these will actually end up being uh, my bases, one for the front and one for the inside of my card. But one of the things that I do is I just cut it down a quarter of an inch at four by five and a quarter. And that gives me a great layer that's gonna go right onto my cardstock. I hope that helps. So I'm going to do that to the other. This is going to be the inside of my card. Again, it's going to be cut at four by five and a quarter. So I'm just cutting a quarter of an inch off two sides of the cardstock. And then I have all these scraps I can either use for something else or toss. Move that out of the way. And I'll just leave my cardstock here. And what I'm going to do is I'm coming in, and this stamp set happens to be photopolymer, which means it's clear, which is great. I actually pulled off the stamps that I was going to use just so it would be easier for me to find them <clears throat> as we stamped. And to begin with, I'm going to use, this is a speckled stamp. It's just a bunch of little speckles on there. Come in with two different colors, mint macaron and dapper denim to do what looks like water. And what I did is I'm going to take another sheet. This is just a, a piece of copy paper that I had sitting here. I'm going to use this to stamp off because I don't really want that water or the stamp to be full, um, full on mint. I wanted it just to kind of have a real soft look to it. So there's the green and then I'm going to um, change out to Dapper Denim. And one of the things I can do because I um, am going from a light to a dark ink, I can go ahead and just ink it without cleaning up in between. But if you're going to use a darker ink or start with a dark and work to a light, you'll want to clean your stamp off in between. And one of the things that I use is a Stampin' Scrub and a little bit of our Stampin' Mist Cleaner. So I'll just get a spray, whoops, one side of the cardstock and then I just, or the Stampin' Mist Cleaner, and then I just scrub it dry it and we're good to go. And again, I'm going to stamp this off because this dapper denim is a lot darker than what I actually want on my card. And I, you know, as you can see, you just do kind of random. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. And I can put that back into my, um, I've got to clean that block because it got kind of dirty. <clears throat> So there's that color. And then I'm going to come in with the sun. And for that, I'm using the Peekaboo Peach. So I'm just going to move these out of the way for now. And because I'm using um, photopolymer stamps, 
One of the things that you will notice is I've got a surface here that I'm stamping on. It gives a little give to it. If you're using your fuller polymer stamps on a flat, hard, flat surface, sometimes it works better if you have a paper piercing mat to put under your project. It just gives a little bit of cushion to those photopolymer stamps and makes them stamp a little bit better. So on this one, I'm using this just little swirly gig here in the peach and I'm going to stamp it on. I can't decide if I should stamp it off or not. I don't think I'm going to stamp it off. I think I'm just going to stamp it full base and then I'm going to turn it just to give it a little bit more. And then I'm going to come in with another one of the little swirly gigs. And this one I'm actually going to stamp off and then stamp in the middle. And there's how I do my sun. Now I think on mine, I probably did stamp off the, the first swirly gig so it wasn't as dark, but that's all right. It's all going to work. Next, I'm going to come in with another piece. And this is just the other half of the piece of cardstock that I used. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, on the, with that cardstock that I cut in the beginning. And I'm going to come in with a little of the dapper denim and stamp that down and wash it off. And then I'm going to come in with the sailboat. So I want some stripes and I think I'm going to do this in the mint macaron. One of the things I love about photopolymer is you can see right through where you want to stamp. So you can line that up perfectly where you want it, stamp it down and you've got a perfect sail there for your boat. And then I'm going to come in with the other part of the sail. And this one I'm actually going to do in the peekaboo peach. I'm going to stamp it off once. And then again, because it's see-through, I can line that up exactly where I want it, stamp it down. And I've just got a light little um, sail there. And then this tiny little flag, which I don't know if you can see it, but it is a tiny one. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that this is going to be one of those stamps that I do not want to lose track of. I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, I think I'll use the peekaboo peach only this time. I just won't stamp it off. I'll just use it full peach. So you can see using one, one ink pad and stamping it off, you'll get two different shades, two different tones, which is kind of nice to give you a little extra um, ink colors. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors. I just dropped them on the floor, but here we go. And you're just going to trim this out right around the edges of that. And there's my sailboat. <laughs> oh, here it is. I was looking for my, for my um, stamped piece. And then I'm going to come in with a dimensional. And I love our dimensionals. It's just foam tape. It's double stick, but it's got a little piece of foam in between. So it just gives a little lift to your stamped images. And attach that onto there. And then the last thing you do is just, uh, oh, I was going to stamp it. That's all right. I'll put it on my card stack and then I'll show you that. Bring in my card base. Get it onto my card base. And then I'm going to take one of the words from that stamp set. I'll take the, or the phrases just because. And I'm going to stamp it down here. Ta-da! And then... <coughs> Um, go ahead and do some stamping on the inside of your card, too. So I'll go back in with those splotches and just add a few. And then I'll add some up in the corner, too. And then come in with the denim. Just adds a little bit to the inside of your card, kind of brings it all together and I'll add that on there. Now you said, see where I got a little splotch here? You could use a little white out to take that out or you could actually let it go because it's handmade so it can't be perfect or you could actually cut out an image and, and stick it on there. So there you have it. There's just a quick way to do a fun, fast card. 
um, and showing you how to cut your cardstock. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't already done so, you may want to sign up for my newsletter where I send out tips, tricks, and techniques each week. And um, you can visit my website at www.ddstamps.com. Thanks and have a great day.